Hi everyone, today we'll take a look at a premium looking power bank from CDR King. You can see this is branded as Westar, but I bought it from CDR King for 280 pesos. Now you may have seen in CDR King they've got other power banks which sell for 100 or 150 pesos. So why should you pay a premium of 280 pesos? when it really comes down to the battery inside whether it's a genuine 2400 milliamp hour battery because in the other ones they don't always give genuine ratings so today we're going to put this to the test is it worth the money now you might be thinking well why would you want a power bank this small well it's basically perfect for your cell phone because you can slip this in your pocket even if you're wearing tight jeans this is easily going to fit in your pocket and if it gives you 2400 milliamp hour that's going to keep you going like if you're going out to a bar or something like that it's really quite convenient to have such a tiny power bank now let's start with the look of it it actually looks quite good I mean this keychain thing this looks a bit cheap but putting that aside this looks quite nice um, the plastic feels okay it's a nice tough plastic it doesn't feel like cheap plastic it's got a nice little LED here so you can see when it's charging and this is the micro USB input they also give you a charge cable It's a flat cable this um, feels like quite a good cable actually and because it's so short it's probably gonna be able to handle quite a bit of current so a nice little charge cable now when it comes to recharging the power bank you just use your existing USB charger for your cell phone or your tablet or even plug it into your computer and connect it to the power bank and it will recharge and then later you can use this to charge your phone or whatever else you want to charge. To verify the capacity of this power bank I am discharging it through a 1 amp dummy load you can see we're currently discharging at 1 amp 4.89 volts and just under 5 volts so we just leave this going until the power bank is completely empty and that will let us know the true capacity of this power bank so the power bank has stopped outputting power and we were able to draw out 7.41 watt hours which is actually really good normally we expect up to around 15 percent losses to consider a genuine power bank now recharging the power bank is easy, you just connect the supplied cable and plug it into your existing phone charger. But we're going to put it through my USB watt meter so we can measure the input. So if I bring this closer, you can see that it's putting in around 0.8 amp or 4 watts. Now they actually suggest on the packaging that it's a 1 amp input. Um, so just putting in 0.8 is around 20% off that figure which means it will take a little bit longer to charge and off camera I tried with a bunch of different cables and different USB chargers and the maximum input I could get really was 0.8 amp. Now for anyone who's curious to see what's inside I have managed to crack it open without damaging it. We've got a 18650 battery here which says 9 watt hours. Um, I did look up these markings online and I found what I think is the same battery on Alibaba and it sells for around $1.2 so it's really quite a cheap battery even though it's a pretty reasonable capacity. Um, and then this is the charge board here. So micro USB input, USB output and our 18650 battery. Pretty much what we expected to see inside but it is a really nice slim compact unit. So there you go, that was a quick video about the Westar power bank from CDR King. It is a little bit more expensive than some of their other power banks, but it's pretty much a genuine 2400 milliamp hour power bank, which means you're carrying something around that's super portable, super light, but still packs a punch. The input is a little bit slower than I would like, but it's not that big a power bank anyway, so it doesn't matter if it takes a little bit longer to charge. The output is okay. It's, you know, I would say it's worth the money. It's a really nice power bank to carry around. There's a lot of fake power banks out there that say they have a certain amount of capacity, but then when you try and use it, it only has a tiny capacity because they put a really cheap battery inside. This one appears to have a decent battery inside of genuine capacity. So yeah, no complaints. I think this is a really nice power bank to carry around. Super, super portable. Um, I recommend it, honestly I do. So if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.